and then buried alive under seven tons of dirt and cement. But something goes terribly wrong. Oh, Exclusive, the greatest show of Amazing Joe. All of Joe's family was there to witness his greatest moment, and they were videotaping it so they could cherish it forever. But as our Mike Watkins tells us, something happened that turned this video into a horror movie. He would have been world famous escape artist taking on something that no one has taken on before. Houdini had been buried alive once and panicked, and they had to dig him out. Through the chains, through the shackles, through the handcuffs. I burrow my way through three and a half feet of dirt. You get through all this before the secret hardens. He was a showman, and you never knew where the show ended and the real life took on. <laughs> you realize that cement starts to harden first at, at the lower elevation, so it's going to be hard. <laughs> you mean it, it hardens at the lower part? I thought it started at the top. No, it hardens at the top. No, 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 no. In fact, I shouldn't even kid. This is very serious. This is no magic trick like you've been seeing here tonight. He thought Houdini was one of the great escape artists, and he wanted to be better than Houdini. And uh, he was he was close. You know, Houdini failed at this, and he was only using dirt. It would have been better than any escape performed by the great Harry Houdini. But in an eerie twist of fate, the amazing Joe Burris lost his life exactly 64 Halloweens from the day Houdini died. Burris's stunt, buried alive, became all too real. When the coffin he built himself collapsed under the weight of seven tons of dirt and cement. The cement just looked so heavy. I mean... I just couldn't see possible, and his, the idea was to be out of the coffin, you know, pretty much while they were pouring the cement so that he could burrow up through. But when it sank, uh, it was a cold night anyway, but, and when it sunk, I just knew it was trouble. We're in trouble. And it's not fun anymore. As soon as I I saw there was something wrong, we started moving the backhoe. I ran over there to direct traffic. I had the, uh, the guards there call uh, me, uh, paramedics and the ambulance. And I was kind of directing them out and covered, get the dirt out of there. And all the time I was, I was thinking it was gonna be a part of the act. Everybody just, you know, after about 30 seconds or so, just dove in there. The backhoe was digging a hole adjacent. And, uh, just panic. I mean, we, everybody was weeping and, you know, how could this happen? And in front of the kids and everything, you know, it was, it was terrible. A scholarship fund has been set up for Joe's two children, Joey and Joshua, who witnessed the tragedy in silent horror as rescuers frantically tried to dig their father out. But everyone agrees, including Suzanne, who assisted Joe for eight years in his act, that even knowing the outcome, there was no way of stopping amazing Joe from attempting the ultimate escape. My thoughts were, why in the world would anyone want to be buried under the ground, buried alive? You know, what a terrifying feeling. You have a little bit of claustrophobia. Uh, makes you shudder but he showed me the tape of last year's event where he succeeded and got out and uh, i hadn't seen him ever blow an illusion ever joe had performed the trick last year in oregon using a wooden coffin with only dirt on top the escape was a huge success but not big enough for amazing joe the only problem with this grand plan to become the master escape artist 
is that it didn't include scientific testing. Joe never calculated the strength of the box, nor the weight of the concrete. Perfect. He told me just a few days before that something Houdini said that was, <clears throat> it will either be fate or my foolishness that kills me. And it was Houdini's foolishness and, and Joe's too. Oh! 